Oh my god, that's heaps of prawns! If I were to rank some of my favourite foods, I think prawns is one of those up there. So, super excited. Okay everyone, hope you're having a great day. Welcome back to another episode of So Thirsty in Beijing. And today, we're gonna have hot pot. Huh? Again? Hot pot? Oh, sorry, sorry. Dry pot. Most recently, I came across an article that said hot pot is dead and dry pot is here to stay. So I first heard about dry pot when I was in Australia, but I never really had the opportunity to try it. Admittedly, I wasn't too keen when my housemates told me it was basically just stir-fried vegetables and meat served on a wok. But after living in Beijing for quite some time, I noticed some restaurants selling them. And recently, I came across some that sells prawn pot. I honestly don't know what that is, but I'm a huge fan of prawns. So we got a deal here at Da Sheng Dian, which is sort of like the Groupon and Fork of China, where you get discounts from restaurants and stuff like that. And we got a deal that that's like pretty pretty good deal, a prawn pot with some beef, um, vegetables, mushroom, noodles, and also fish balls. Uh, even though it comes as a meal, it doesn't really mention how the beef, the uh, mushrooms, vegetables, fish balls or noodles are going to be cooked. It only says that the prawns are going to be in whatever base you pick. So I'm not sure how it's going to be done as well. So, But let's go check it out. Actually, I'm not sure what's going to happen because they gave us the prawns and some raw meat and vegetables. So. Maybe it's some sort of hot pot after this. We haven't been eating a lot of tomatoes, so we got the ketchup based prawns. Oh my god, that's heaps of prawns! Mm. It's so firm and so muscular. Dear god. The natural sweetness. Ooh. The natural sweetness from the prawns. Let me just peel the shell off this time. Just the meat itself. I'll try it with the sauce. Oh. The texture and the sweetness from the prawns combined with the ketchup. Match make in heaven. Now I'm going for the most flavorful part of the prawn. Oh. So creamy and buttery. It's almost like sea urchin but stronger. It's so fresh and flavorful you can eat the shell. They have fries in them. Mm, very good. You know some prawns you eat, it's like sort of plasticky and bouncy and you don't feel like you're eating a prawn at all. But not this one. This is so good. These ones here are very meaty. Oh, look at the flesh. So white, so pure and succulent. So sweet! This time I'm gonna eat it with the shell. Whoa. The shell is so crunchy. I think they deep fry it before putting it in the sauce. So it's like you have the crunch before you go into the succulent white meat. And the crunch is followed with those sweet ketchup flavor. Alright, so I understand now. After you're done with the prawns, they'll pour in some broth to deglaze the pan, turning the dry pot into a hot pot. Oh, it's so rich! The taste of the prawn and the ketchup. Um, it's like seafood broth with a bit of tomatoes. Ooh. Ooh. The umami of the prawns. Ooh. It's 
so sweet and delicious. I really feel like I'm drinking a pot of very flavorful seafood soup. So amazing. Look at this decadent slice of beef. different from the normal meat. It's, it's bouncy. It's very bouncy and very chewy. The coriander, peanut and garlic gives it a bit of crunch to the bouncy texture of the beef. So good. So the meal is very flavorful so I think I need to restart my taste buds. about the fish balls here in China because every time I try it, it seems like the ratio of flour to fish is like 90 to 10 so let's give it a shot yeah it's expected although this noodle looks a bit normal it's actually one of the most famous traditional noodles in China it's called hand poop noodle It's very slippery in texture, but very chewy and bouncy when you bite it. So good! El Dante! It's a bit crinkly, so it can catch the sauce or the soup. So it really absorbs it very well. Don't forget to eat some greens. Anyone else love enoki mushrooms with hot pot? I think it's the best mushroom to go with it. This is a lot of food for two people. But because of the deal, it only costs about $17. So super worth it. So if you come to Beijing, please give this a try. That was an unbelievable meal. Oh my god, so worth it. So good. I'm ready to die and go to heaven. And if you're interested, here's a shot of the menu. Well, thanks for helping us hit 100 subs and to many more. And here's a special B-roll for you guys. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe and stay so thirsty.